So first things first, we're going to prime and moisturize our faces for the journey ahead. I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in Color Correcting Adjust, and I'm taking my Lancome Royal Body Intense Liquid Repair Cream. So go ahead and put in some contact lenses. I'm using Zombie One by Primal. I'm now taking my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil and just circling around my eyes and extending up from the bridge of my nose to above my eyebrow and just curving it out a little bit. Switching to a black face paint crayon now, I'm just lining triangular shapes on the sides of my nose. as well as a vertically lining in between my lips, horizontally lining in between my lips. And drawing some skeletal type cheek hollows. And to create the illusion of teeth, I'm just curving over all of my vertical lines that I've made on my mouth. So just drawing half circles from one line to another. And so on and so forth. I'm now just taking a dollar store paintbrush and blending out those lines. So I'm now just taking my purple Mayron Fantasy Effects Performance Makeup as well as some plain old white cream makeup and just applying them to my hand so I can work off of it. So I'm starting off with the white makeup and just applying it to all the places that I don't want to be shaded in black and I'm just using my fingers as well as a flat head paintbrush. Keep applying layers until it's a flat white and not all splotchy. Oh yeah, and uh, don't forget your ears. <laughs> I actually did this, but I do come back to it later. Alright, after you're all layered up with white face paint, just begin applying your purple or whatever color you choose to accent around the areas that you want to be contoured a bit or just pop a little bit.
definitely going to want to put some on your temples and jawline as well as your cheekbones just to really intensify that color pop to make it a little more bold. Just kind of creating a purple hue, so to speak. We do want to keep the white in places that we would normally highlight. black face paint again to sharpen up some of those lines, darken them a bit, intensify them. A little bit more shadowing and a little more depth. Adding some more white paint to brighten that up. Gotta have those pretty whites. So I'm now going in with my Mehron Black Liquid Makeup and just filling in all the spaces I drew before. So around my eyes, my cheeks, my teeth, darkening up the lines around there, and my nose. And I'm actually just doing this with a small and expensive eyeshadow brush. For my eyes, I'm just going around the sockets and taking my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil again and just filling the waterline and my lash line. So I don't get any face paint in my eye. That wouldn't be fun. Now just moving on to that little curve we made earlier, I'm just intensifying it a bit and blending it out. I'm now just creating a line from where my natural eyebrow would probably end and extending that down and blending it out to create a little more depth. actually just a little bit too much in your face for me so I was just waiting a little bit out around the edges and I'm gonna blend it a little bit smoother
I'm just accenting above the sockets we made with a little more purple so I can create a white highlight just under that line we made at the end of our eyebrows. So I'm building up that line and just bringing it down to connect it to our cheek hollow. So with my black Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner, I'm just creating little cracks in the skull around my jaw, my forehead, and under my eyes. To make them look like realistic fractures, I'm just highlighting them with white around some sides. I'm now creating a line directly under the eye socket I made, and I'm just going to blend that out for some more depth and intensity. To make it look like more of a creepy skull, just adding a little more detail. Some more detail and realism, as realistic as a living skeleton can be. <laughs> Alrighty, we're moving along to the neck and chest area. So I'm just taking my black face paint crayon from earlier and just lining where the bones would be, possibly. I don't know, I wasn't actually looking at an actual photo while I did this. I suggest you look up the basic anatomy of a skeleton to see what the bones in the chest look like, in the neck, around that area, your collarbones, your clavicle, everything there, the arm bones, because I really had no idea or reference. I honestly just kind of wung it right here. Some lines here, maybe that looks right. Extend it up there. That kind of looks like a collarbone, I guess. Okay, a few mistakes. Wipe it off, try again. Alright, make some ribs. And uh, that's pretty much how I did it. So now I'm just filling in the bones with white. I've added a little bit of black to the brush as well, so it kind of gives a gray tint. taking my black mayron liquid makeup and just filling in all the spaces that aren't supposed to be white bones. Okay, so I've just finished shading my chest and now I'm going to start adding some purple elements to it purple shading, purple accents, so it matches my face a little bit more and it's not just gray and black or white and black. I'm also just adding some little black indents and a little extra black shading to the bones. And I'm also adding little white highlights to the bones as well. Just making the clavicle a little thinner, a little slimmer. I'm also making it just catch your eye a little more, draw your eye to that area by adding some extra white highlights. Okay, so I've pretty much finished the chest now, and I'm just adding a little bit more black and a little more purple, and... Alright, you are complete! Products used will be listed in the description. Well, thanks so much!
much for watching. Thanks so, so much. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. And I hope you made a really awesome looking skeleton today.